<clears throat> and hello everyone, thanks for having me. As I already introduced, my name's Ben Piper and I work at Westpac New Zealand and the Operations and Contact Centre Business Unit within uh, consumer banking. So I'd first like to start with acknowledging that traditional routes do provide a whole lot of valuable information and intel on, on what is happening in the front line. Um, we've touched on a few of the traditional routes already, but data available to us um, is also extremely important. Um, it enables us to make decisions based on trends, facts, and statistical numbers, such as you know, things like uh, call reasoning data or transfer data and analysis of that, as well as you know, NPS and channel satisfaction scores, um, as well as you know, just doing things like observing queue performances intraday to understand spikes. Um, however, today I want to share a few actions of how we at Westpac capture information through through non-traditional routes such as the off-call chats or the, the you know the water cooler conversations. Um, it's more important and, and difficult now that we have you know 90% of the workforce logging in from home working environments um, to, to be able to, to keep agents engaged um, and hearing what's happening is, is more important than ever. Uh, having a strong feedback loop with agents through to team leaders and then up into to management is, is critical, but then does tend to have you know a watered down message at times as the insight moves through the business. Uh, so we've implemented several different processes that try to tease out these important insights uh, with not just customer feedback, but also some of the process and, and system improvements uh, and the ideas that come directly from the front line. So Liz, you, you mentioned one just before, the use of Microsoft Teams. Um, so real-time Teams chat with, with agents. Uh, and now it's actually far easier to identify common trends through these chats uh, as, as those conversations that may have been had through the, you know, the swivel of a chair in the office are now documented in Teams. Uh, and so these can be identified and then tracked and, and raised through other platforms for prioritization. Uh, which takes me to, to my second point, uh, which is the use of social media. Uh, at Westpac, we use a tool called Yammer, which is a sort of corporate Facebook. I'm not sure how many people are aware of it. Um, however, we have the, the second highest engagement for Yammer for medium-sized companies worldwide. It used to be number one, so I hope we'll get back there soon. Um, and, and this tool has proven to be, to be great for pulling out key insights from agents and getting conversation and engagement really cranking. Uh, Supporting the use of this tool is, is the really high visibility and interaction from the C-suite, uh, meaning that staff at all levels have got an opportunity to get messages straight to the top of the business. Um, and in true sort of social media fashion, we've created a hashtag um, within, within Yammer called hashtag war on stuff. And this is where agents can raise their concerns or their ideas and upvote them a bit like you do on, on Reddit. Um, this allows us to see which issues are, are the most important to the frontliners and kind of can have a bit of a popularity contest, you know, with ideas that are coming in. Um, and to make sure this continues to work, we've actually set up a dedicated team who manage these responses and, and the prioritization of these ideas. Um, they, they ensure that updates can be fed back to agents as progress proceeds um, to make sure, you know, people are, are hearing that what they've raised is, what does matter. Um, and then traditional routes of information gathering can support what these agents are saying from a quantitative perspective, such as, you know, uh, to, to enable robust, robust business cases, such as for reasoning data. Um, a, a recent example is War on Stuff identified that agents were getting numerous requests for password resets daily. They were really short calls and most of the time would be spent just IDing the customer and, and weren't really very engaging for our customers or our people. Um, and a result of gaining traction on Yammer, our, our tech teams could see the frustrations and the, the overwhelming opportunity that this would be for productivity and customer experience. And because of this, it was able to be prioritized and delivered within a few sprints. Now, although we, could, we, we were aware of this information through core reasoning data, the support that this opportunity presented in Yammer around the business unit just couldn't be ignored. Um, and we ended up removing 11% of calls from that queue. I'm running a bit over time here, so the final point I wanted to make here was um, we established quarterly together greater forums, and it's essentially a, a cross-section of roles that get attended um, by a regional senior manager, so it would be a friendly face where they raise upcoming change within the business in, a, in an open discussion environment. Um, so I think as it's half past now, Fiona, I can see your camera's back on. Uh, thanks for having me.